Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Master Paul. Very happy to be connecting with you today. It is a Monday and it is the almost the end of the month. I believe it's 28th or 29th of the month. And uh, today's live stream will be focusing on understanding what is the Tao. Tao is T-A-O. <clears throat> Some people refer to it as Tao. Sometimes people pronounce it as Dao, like in D-O-W. Everyone has a different enunciation or pronunciation of it. But for here, for me, for these purposes today, I will be referring to it as the Dao, T-A-O. <clears throat> and so for if you're just tuning in, uh, just scrolling through, and uh, that subject matter is of interest to you, then I encourage you to stick around. Uh, you will start to hear this word a lot more often, Tao, T-A-O. Uh, not in relationship to any particular belief system or religion, but in relationship to what I'm going to be talking about today, which is the nature of the way. Uh, it is a word that is all-encompassing and is not uh, categorizing, does not <clears throat> dictate a, a certain way of thinking, being, or doing. It actually honors wherever you're at and whatever you believe. It simply comes with a a series of suggestions and guidances for a better life. And so if that sounds adventurous to you, I hope you stick around and watch. For those that do not have the time but would like to learn more about it, please um, friend me and subscribe and you'll know when I go live. I've been doing these live streams for a year <coughs> and it's something that uh, has been a very valuable for me and I, I know also that it's valuable for you and my devoted listeners. I get, to, uh, I get to see a lot of the comments after the fact when things are, mm, how do I put it, <clears throat> when things are um, even a, a, a day or a week later. And I get to read comments that these uh, wisdoms have, have changed people's lives. So I'm grateful for that. Uh, in my screen, it lo things look a little bit blurry. I don't know what it looks like to you. So I don't know if it's a lighting condition or if it's my phone, but I will uh, try to make it focus a little bit better. Okay, that, <laughs> let's see if that works. So thank you all for joining. <clears throat> so let's see who's, who's joined us today. Welcome, Kathy. Welcome to Becky Ryan. Welcome, Lisa. Aloha Shirley Schuster and welcome Suki Singh. Welcome Margaret Green. Aloha Kristen Rojas. Thank you for your assistance and service. And welcome Leandra Boyson Abraham. Welcome Jennifer Cress Smith. Aloha to Angie Taylor. Susan Birchmore. Welcome. And aloha Michelle. Uh, welcome also to Shelly Roy. Welcome to Alyssa. Good to see you here, Alyssa. <coughs> and welcome Nita Paolo. See, I even said the right, Paolo, because that's, you know, my Spanish name, Paolo. Welcome to Robin Toth. Uh, aloha also to Str Kristen Strachan and Dana Knapp. Welcome. Welcome also to, uh, to Kim Lau. And welcome to Rezai Anya. <coughs> if I missed your name, please forgive me. I see them scrolling through. Welcome Candy Cornette and Julia Lawrence. Aloha. So how was your weekend? Hopefully it was valuable. Hopefully it was um, a weekend in which you practiced what we talk about, where you practiced awakening. Uh, you practiced to align your soul, heart, mind, and body to your soul, which was a big chunk of the subject last week. I hope you practiced um, keeping your heart open <clears throat> responding with love, light, and compassion instead of automatic responses which tend to create unpleasant spiritual negativity which we never really want. Welcome Josie Daquila and welcome also to, uh, to Smith B. Liza. Welcome Dawn. Aloha Jessica and Jessica's family. <clears throat> I just completed a uh, lunch and so sometimes when that happens I get a little a little uh, clearing in my lungs so forgive me for that and so thank you all again for joining so we're going to go ahead and and start by connecting heart to heart soul to soul 
<clears throat> Again, for all those that just joined and are not sure what we're going to be covering today, we'll be covering the nature of the Tao, T-A-O. And the Tao is um, a lot larger than what you might think. And we're going to cover some of those today. If you're not going to be able to stick around, please subscribe and friend me and you can always come back to this live stream in the future. And also you'll be notified when I go live, okay? So we're going to start by connecting heart to heart, soul to soul, placing our hands like in the prayer position. We drop the left hand in front of the heart center, right hand gently pointed towards heaven. <clears throat> Let us close our eyes and fully connect. Dear our beloved spiritual mothers and fathers, our beloved creator, all layers of divine, the Tao, and the source. All beings of light serving the plan of the light side, including masters and ascended masters, angels and healing angels, archangels, lamas, sifas, gurus, saints, buddhas and bodhisattvas, beloved Jesus and Mother Mary and more. Our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels and saints, we love you all, honor you and appreciate you very, very much. We thank you from our heart and soul for your incredible and unconditional service to humanity, for all that you do in all the ways and places that we are, do not know of. We thank you, thank you, thank you. We ask for your presence here today to guide the wisdom, teachings, and the blessings in the way that is most appropriate to give us each and every one of us the greatest opportunity to further align our souls, hearts, minds, and bodies to our Creator. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Dear the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony, transmitted to all souls in all universes. We love you, we honor you, respect you. We ask you to please turn on, and we invite all souls in all universes to chant with us at this time. So for, again, for those that are new, just tuning in, this is a mantra. We chant it each and every time I have a live stream for a few minutes to set the energy field and to connect us heart to heart, soul to soul. It is a blessing. It is also a worldwide healing mantra in 43 languages, so you're more than welcome to, uh, to download the music and share it. <clears throat> so let us join together in this mantra. Lu la ha lu la li Lu la ha lu la la li Lu la ha lu la li lu la Lu la ha li lu la Lu la ha li lu la Oh, I wash in our lane. Oh, I turn and lay. Wang Ling Rong, her musher shang. Shang I ping on a say. Shang I ping on her say. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. <clears throat> how, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. So again, if that, uh, the more you know about the song, the more you'll want to download it and listen to it often. It will help you, it will bring self-healing to you, and it will uh, transform your emotions. It could bless your finances, could do many things. Uh, welcome to Yvonne Griffin. Thank you for joining. Welcome to Becky. Aloha, Teresa. Good to see you here. I wonder if you're with your family. Uh, welcome also to Suzy Q. And welcome, Matthew. Good to see you here live, Matthew. Welcome, Crane. Aloha, Stephanie. Welcome, Angie. And aloha to Aspasia and Janet. Good to see you. Aloha, Pat. <coughs> and welcome also to Nina. Thank you all for joining. Thank you also for hitting the share button and letting other people know about today's live stream. So today we're going to be focusing on the Tao, pronounced D-O-W, spelled T-A-O. The Tao is not something that I have permission to 
uh, speak about in reference specifically to the Tao One and Tao Two books by my spiritual teacher, Master Shah. <coughs> uh, we have to go through a certification course and prove that we are very knowledgeable in all the subject matter in these books, of which I have not passed that course. So, the information that I'll be sharing today <coughs> will be um, valuable, but not specific in nature. If you like what you hear, and you would like to uh, be more informed and knowledgeable about the very high level specifics that you can learn, then I do recommend that you um, <coughs> um, purchase one of the books. Now I will tell you that it is advanced uh, teachings. Uh, what I'll share with you today will not be overly advanced, but these books, Dao 1, Dao 2, are advanced. I do not recommend them as your first book by Master Shah. <coughs> you want to work up to them. The example is uh, Dao 1, The Way of All Life. Dao 2, the subtitle is The Way of Healing, Rejuvenation, Longevity. What does longevity mean, guys? It means living a long time. And the last word, immortality. That's a pretty potent title. Dao 2, The Way of Healing, Rejuvenation, Longevity, and Immortality. Not a first grader book. Something only for those that are truly on the path of enlightenment and truly are willing to do the necessary work. So, um, those you can get on your own if you'd like to. <coughs> so welcome also to Andri Stella. Welcome also to Jess Christensen. Welcome to Christina Vicole. Welcome Julia uh, Samaistra. And welcome uh, Marjol R.K. If, if I missed your name, please forgive me. Thank you all for joining. So, what is the Tao? The Tao is larger than anything you could imagine. Larger than Mother Earth, larger than this universe. It's larger than the Hubble pictures. When you see those countless universes, they look like a bunch of little UFO flying saucers in all kinds of different directions. That's countless, countless galaxies and countless universes. It's larger than that. The Tao is also smaller than the smallest thing that science has been able to find. It is smaller than a quark. It's smaller than a, a lecton or some of the more, more newer names they've come up with. <clears throat> it is so small that you will never be able to find the smallest uh, aspect of it. It is larger than large, smaller than small. It has no shape. It has no form. It is not round, it is not square, there is no lines. It is simply is. Now the Tao in terms of today's conversation and what I am uh, allowed to share, for us on an individual basis, especially for those that are on the awakening path, especially for those that do not like being pigeonholed in any particular uh, belief system. Um, the ones that kind of shun when somebody starts to push something down our throat. Uh, the Tao could be of great value for you. Because it wishes to hold nobody. It wishes to honor everybody. Tao can be called many things can be called source, that which everything is created from. I'm not saying it's God, I'm not saying it's creator. I'm saying source, that which everything is created from. Uh, it could be called by many, many, many names. <clears throat> in, uh, this is vague teachings, in the most uh, pertinent aspects to our life, the Tao is where all things that become manifest come from. That which is unmanifest and that which is manifest all are part of the Tao. The Tao has rules, but the rules are not beliefs. 
they're not do this, don't do that. They're more like rules of engagement. Like you can play a game any way you'd like. You can cheat. You can play it any way you'd like. But if you play it the way it's suggested, then you have the highest and best possible outcome. When you operate with the comprehension of the rules, if you will, of the Tao, then life can be much, much easier. So what are some of those laws or rules, if you will? One of the laws is the law of cause and effect. Uh, it has many different names. Cause and effect, what you do unto others, comes unto you. Uh, every various belief system out there has a variation on that teaching, but that uh, is a universal law. What is a universal law? It's something that is immutable. It's something that um, stands the test of time and for those with enough time on their hands and uh, clarity of the biggest picture, they validate that to be a truth. For those of us that live a hundred years or so, most of us don't live long enough or have enough awakening to know that as a 100% truth, that there is such a thing as a universal law and the law is uh, what you do unto others is what you receive as an example. <clears throat> One of the other universal laws of the Tao is follow nature's way. Now it's a very simple statement and one that certainly if anyone follows it finds themselves in a very happy and cheerful and joyful place. When my teacher talks about operating in the Tao, he uses very simple examples. Examples where you might scoff at it and one of the upsides of a simple example is we immediately get it. One of the downsides of a simple example is we don't think that it applies to us. We grab it, but we don't do or work with it. So the example that he gives is if it's minus 40 outside and you walk outside in a t-shirt, you will eventually die. It might take one minute, it might take five minutes, it might take an hour, but you will die. <clears throat> Why? Because it goes against the laws of nature. Follow nature's way. Follow nature's way means be practical, work with what appears to be the truth at that time in, in relationship to common sense things such as uh, the law of cause and effect, such as the laws of nature. When we work with these common sense uh, universal laws, then life can become quite a bit easier. The Tao has no judgments, it has no criticisms, it has no, um, no high or no low. It does not do anything at all to box you in. It offers unconditional love at all times. The Tao is source. Source is unconditional love. Now, how did we get to where we are from this everything and nothing, from this source? Science has been trying to figure that out for a long, long time. They've jostled around the Big Bang Theory. They've worked with a variety of things trying to figure out how a universe expands and contracts. They're busy uh, in different parts of the world trying to collide atoms, which we don't know what's going to happen. Maybe they'll collide an atom and they'll create an entire new universe. Maybe they'll collide an atom and blow us up. Um, but in essence, they're trying to figure out how this was all created. Well, according to Tao wisdom, we have all uh, 
were created from the nothingness and brought into the somethingness that there is what is called heavy chi and light chi in the Tao. The Tao again is source creation. And this heavy chi falls and the light chi stays higher. From the Tao, which is one, comes two. The heavy chi and the light chi, which have been intermingled, creating that which you might call space, everything in nothingness. Heavy chi and light chi separate. The heavy chi goes down, the light chi goes up. And you have creation. The Taoist then would say that that creation is heaven and earth. From one, the Tao, comes two, heaven and mother earth. Now you'll understand that this is very, very general teachings. Um, there are very specific religious-based teachings called Taoism, which this is not. But there are aspects of various beliefs out there that some of this is borrowed from. There are aspects that those belief systems are never heard of. And one of those aspects that this is borrowed from <clears throat> is how to reach enlightenment. What is our purpose? How do we get from here to that place where we don't have to come back anymore and do any suffering anymore? And that path can be long or it can be shorter. The path as it currently exists is from one. Imagine I'm drawing a circle. See my hand from one becomes two, heaven and mother earth. From two, all things are created. Heaven and mother earth are yin and yang. When heaven and mother earth were formed, separation occurred, yin and yang occurred. Uh, up and down, hot and cold, uh, dichotomy occurred. So from two, all things were created. All things are three, from one to two to three. And then we go back to the Tao in the course of time. Now, when I first started on my spiritual journey at age 18, <clears throat> I was staying at a house where there was five roommates. I was not a very wealthy uh, young man working as a cook in a restaurant. And so I had to have an affordable place. And the woman who owned the house was renting it to whoever wanted to come there. So I was looking through her bookshelf and she had several books. Uh, the one that strikes my head is called The Treatise on White Magic. And they're all from um, uh, ancient scripture. They were actually flowed scripture, uh, not related to any particular religion, from the uh, Ural Mountains over in the Russian area. And they were associated with what's called the Theosophical Society. And I didn't know anything about this at that time. Uh, but it was flowed, meaning it was information that was received from higher sources. And I'm reading it and my brain is just twisted. I'm trying to figure out what it's saying. I, I have zero clue. I grew up Christian and trying to learn this stuff. And, but it did crack open my soul. And one of the things that it said is that all things in creation eventually return. That it often takes billions and billions and billions of years and that it's much like a breathing out and a breathing in. That was the exact verbiage they used, the breathing in and the breathing out. They even had some Indian names for it. Apparently later on in life, I realized that this information is not uncommon, that it's shared amongst all of the, um, the higher uh, philosophy societies, the, the ones that are not steeped in heavy religion, the ones that are more about enlightenment. And um, they speak about this breathing out and the breathing in. <clears throat> they speak about what is called rounds, R-O-U-N-D, rounds. And these rounds are referred to as uh, times when uh, humanity goes to a cusp 
and then levels up and then goes to another cusp and then levels up and these rounds can take many 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 thousands of years hundreds of thousands of years in some cases it depends on the duration of the round so I'm reading all this at age 18 and wondering what the heck fast forward 30 years I meet uh, several masters train with several masters and come across one that's writing books on how to reach immortality don't think you're gonna find that many books out there uh, on that subject matter so it's possible that this teacher knows what he's talking about master Shah. <clears throat> and so I am um, listening and, and attending many of these classes on what is Tao and how to reach enlightenment and the steps from here to there and in this process I remember what I had read way back then and all kinds of light bulbs come off and all kinds of sparklers and, and fireworks and everything aha moments the rounds started making sense the many thousands of years in between rounds started making sense the breathing out and the breathing back in of creation started making a lot more sense because the information regardless of the high level teacher that it comes from if they are a true and authentic teacher that is truly connected to universal consciousness they pretty much all share the same wisdom just in different verbiage so uh, when you hear the word Tao source um, that which all things are created from try not to square your head that's also a very common statement in understanding what is Tao Tao is following nature's way Tao is not squaring your head thinking you understand everything the minute you think you understand it wrong already the minute you think you're right wrong already those who have uh, who do not square their heads those who receive information and allow it to be partitioned in a place where um, they can get the most out of it at some point in time like I didn't square my head when I heard this information when I was 18 years old I certainly didn't understand it even a little bit but it piqued my interest so I put it aside it literally took about 20 years for me to get enough information for it made full sense but that's not squaring your head that's a good example of living in the Tao that's a good example of following nature's way so living in the Tao is doing the right thing in many cases living in the Tao is helping your neighbor living in the Tao is uh, is living in a place of selflessness what is the Tao it is a representation of that which we originated from purity so from one becomes two two is what heaven and mother earth from two all things are created that is three so one is Tao two is heaven and mother earth three is all things not human all things okay all things now according to this many many forms of ancient philosophies and the nature of Tao all things return to one from one to two to three and three to two back to one it's called creation and it's called reverse creation reverse creation a lot of people don't hear that word but it is taught quite a bit reverse creation is a universal movement it is not a one person movement a one person movement would be called advanced enlightenment where you're a light being and you just blip in and out of existence wherever you'd like to be you have reached full layers and full levels of enlightenment at that point I am not even close to that I'd be very very lucky if I can accomplish that in this life but I'll keep trying but that's an individual form of it whereas a universal enlightenment is all humanity all things in creation finding its way back home so why am I sharing with you this information because there is a shortcut there is a long path and there is a short path the beings that are truly enlightened the the saints that come from heaven and come down to help us the uh, the souls that are on our heavens team the angels the archangels these beings of light <clears throat> all went through a similar process from no creation into creation and through the process of returning back to the source from which they came and they're still in that process no different than you or me are in that process <clears throat> uh, how do we know they're in that process because we wouldn't know their names and we wouldn't hear them see them touch them feel them we wouldn't call upon them 
that means they're still in the process. If they weren't in the process, they would be melded with the one and they would be part of basically just the light, the original oneness. But they still have names, they still come to serve. <clears throat> one of the reasons they are in this process of serving is because that's how you return to source that much faster. So creation and reverse creation is constantly happening. It's happening for us on an individual basis. It's happening for us on a collective basis. And collectively, we can call that a natural aspect of the Tao. The Tao is everything. The Tao is nothing. A Tao is farther than far, closer than close. Bigger than big, smaller than small. It cannot be squared, it cannot be rounded. There is no line, no beginning, no end. A circle has no beginning and no end. It is part of the Tao, part of creation. So when we are in this process, <clears throat> when we are in this process of returning to the Tao, we can go from three back to two, back to one, or we can take the shortcut. What does that mean, go from three back to two, back to one? Well, remember, how do we get to three? From that which is unmanifest, heaven and mother earth manifest, they create all things, which is you and me and all things, not just humans. And then we go back to heaven and mother earth, and then back to oneness, right? Again, billions and billions of years. <clears throat> there is, you've heard me uh, refer to, what is called Shen, Qi, and Jing. Shen, Qi, and Jing, for, to remind all of you, is Shen is the soul, the soul, heart, and the mind. Qi, you've heard of Qigong, Tai Chi, it's energy. Qi is energy. Jing is matter. So Shen, Qi, and Jing are Mandarin Chinese words that means soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. So imagine soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter in its highest, purest form, that would be original creator. When creator expanded into two, heaven and mother earth, and then uh, yin and yang created all things, we have a condition in which we are now at the bottom of the circle, so to speak. We're in three. One is straight up, we're at the bottom of this circle. We're at the bottom of creation, and we're looking towards reverse creation. This is an example of, of what's happening right now on Mother Earth. We're going through a transition time. We're moving from a da uh, darkness into the light. We're moving into the era of soul. We're uh, aligning our frequencies to, to higher layers of love, light, uh, and higher frequencies. And so all of this is part of Tao. It's part of source comprehension. From here to Mother Earth to heaven and back can be a very, very long process. Now, the shortcut is straight up, not in a circle, okay? But how do we take the shortcut? That becomes a question, right? We're getting there. So the shortcut is to align your Shen, Qi, and Jing to those that have already, uh, those that, that were part of the creation process and those that have a higher frequency or Shen, Qi, Jing than us. <clears throat> when I use the word Shen, Qi, and Jing, I want you to become very comfortable and familiar with it. Shen, Qi, Jing, soul, heart, mind, energy, matter. Soul leads the heart, which leads the mind, which leads the energy, which leads the matter. You've heard me say it at least a hundred times, you've been watching me. Heal the soul first and the mind and body follows. When you deal with things at the level of soul, it directs the heart, which is the, the leader of your entire body. The heart then directs the mind. For a great deal of us, our mind is directing our, our life and therefore we're miserable. We're not living in the doubt. We're not following nature's way. You starting to see the connectivity? Following nature's way is the one sentence secret that Tao holds, represents, without boundaries. It doesn't say you have to think this way or you have to think that way or you have to believe anything that's being said. Tao honors all thoughts, all things, because all things came from source Tao. Following nature's way is acknowledging there can be an easier path. And if you continue to follow mind, you're taking the long path. The short path is transforming things at the level of soul. If you want to take the elevator straight up, instead of the side path that goes through raising your frequencies to Mother Earth, raising your frequencies to Heaven, and then eventually, a billion years later, raising your frequencies to Tao, you can do that. Maybe you really like a long ride, 
but there is a shortcut there's an elevator <clears throat> you have to raise your soul frequency in order to raise your soul's frequency we align it to anything that is a higher than us on a constant basis <clears throat> so if you go and you listen to Metallica hey I, I like my, my share of metal bands but it doesn't carry the kind of frequency that love peace and harmony or imagine or some of the higher frequency Beethoven songs etc carry it's just common sense and ego can argue it all you want it doesn't change common sense so follow nature's way that's an example if you want to get on the elevator you do the things that is necessary to uh, elevate your soul when we hold on to our ego when we hold on to our self-righteousness when we don't forgive when we do those things that are not a uh, supportive and uplifting of our soul then our mind will stay stuck our hearts cannot open therefore the energy and matter the chi and the jing cannot elevate it cannot match higher frequencies you'll just reincarnate again and beat yourself up and down again okay so the path to enlightenment is most often best done through an enlightened master through a uh, find one there's plenty of them uh, that are good ones or some that are charlatans but just find one the reason why it's this is only if you're serious on your path if you're not you know serious you just want to enjoy life great nothing wrong with that you just do it a lot longer you kind of like taking the long rid around in a circle but the Tao is is it's a um, it's a path of following nature's way <clears throat> even if you go the long path from three back to two back to one what is what is three three is all things what is two heaven and mother earth what is one source okay so one to two to three three to two to one on our way back we can go the long way and, and have a good time doing it uh, one of the dilemmas is we <laughs> forget <laughs> how many of you when you woke up uh, in your in your uh, in, in the hospital room or or when you popped out of mom's womb how many of you woke up and came out fresh chipper and remembering everything about all of your lifetime and made only the best choices in this lifetime no suffering everything's hunky-dory everything's all good I doubt I'm gonna see any hands fly up on that one in other words we don't remember everything you've worked so hard in this lifetime to get to every suffering you've ever been to to get to where you are today so that you couldn't level yourself up <clears throat> you might have 20 30 40 50 years left maybe 70 to 100 depends on how good science is and how many spiritual practices you're doing to let yourself live longer but unless you learn uh, practices that are designed to elevate your frequencies and raise your Shen Qi and Jing to closer to heaven and mother earth closer to source then we're probably gonna die all of us and we're probably gonna forget the vast majority of what we had learned and gained until we come back next time do it all over again get to about age 30 40 50 get some enlightenments wake up a little bit and go oh that's what I forgot now I've got how many years left 30 40 50 and let's try to do it all over again and see if I can get it all done this time the nice uh, the nice part about doing this here and now is the special time that we're in you've heard this over the last couple of weeks I put a lot more emphasis on this special time of transition in Mother Earth where there's great darkness and there's great light and in this special time of great darkness and great light there is the highest greatest opportunities to reach enlightenment to actually complete uh, it's also another reason why it's really really good to have a truly enlightened teacher um, most of, of at least in America what I've observed and I could be wrong this could be just a completely wrong blanket blanket statement but it's my own personal observation that um, uh, a great deal of us over here are just a little too caught up in all the all the subject of life the matter of life the internet all the things that drag our attention away and the last thing on our mind is is buckling down and and, and figuring it out in this life and, and completing this this matrix if you will um, and yet 
if we truly grasp that this opportunity where we are right now in time this opportunity in time is amongst the best to quote complete the matrix um, and it's just a terminology you don't usually see that kind of terminology when you're talking about spiritual teachings but I'm I'm sure you can all grasp what I'm saying so in order for us to uh, do the shortcut the simple answer is raise your Shen Qi and Jing to the highest frequencies you can find the first closest highest is uh, any spiritual father enlightened being that is a true master uh, that has no ulterior motives that has only your best interests in mind I have found one his name is Master Shah may not be yours you can find your own if it doesn't resonate with you uh, but I am dramatically higher than I was 10 years ago that's kind of a no-brainer for me so something must be working my Shen Qi Jing is a lot higher because when I offer blessings miracles are occurring so must be something going on here so um, that's the first layer the second layer is that teacher is basically a, um, a, a gateway through which Mother Earth frequencies and Heaven frequencies uh, are occurring. So this is like the elevator. A lot of us are, are not so interested in taking that harder path because we have to dedicate time and, and, and focus and attention to our spiritual journey. We have to be willing to do an hour of practice a day or more. Um, we have to be willing to adjust our ego and we have to be willing to do all kinds of things but the side effect is that if we can clear massive amounts of crud and this very pivotal uh, darkness light time that we're in right now the opportunity to move up that elevator a long way is very very good <clears throat> you might not make it to full enlightenment in this life it's a reasonable possibility I like I said kind of doubt I'm gonna make it uh, as far as I'd like to but I'm gonna do my my best but one thing I do know um, at the end of this life I want to believe that I've done as much as I can and I'm I'm fairly confident that next time around if there is one uh, that it won't be near as unpleasant as this one uh, simply because I'll be quite a bit more awakened uh, it's unlike I'm gonna pop out of the womb and be remember everything but that is a possibility the more we awaken up so how do we accomplish that we align our heart and soul to heaven and mother earth there is a mantra that master Shah uh, has brought and it's called Ren Di Tian Dao He Yi uh, these are again Mandarin Chinese <coughs> so you might need to write them down Ren Di Tian Dao He Yi and it's very similar to three two one excuse me a uh, one two three three two one creation and reverse creation creation reverse creation one two three three two one one two three three two one rendi tian dao he yi means in essence the same thing it means ren human d is earth tian is heaven dao is source ren di tian dao he yi means become one human mother earth heaven Tao source become one and so it's a mantra that is simple words human mother earth heaven Tao become one but the one sentence secret of a mantra is what you chant is what you become so when we chant human heaven mother earth Tao become one we are raising and elevating our frequencies I mentioned last week that my teacher um, gives us about somewhere between four and six hours of responsibilities a day on top of our full-time jobs on top of all of our other responsibilities as masters to all the students and the reality is it's, it's pretty much impossible to accomplish uh, but it has never stopped him to require that of us what would a teacher why would he require uh, four more hours of responsibilities than we even have time to accomplish why would a teacher do that because the teacher understands that the student needs to uh, have his mind very focused to raise its frequency to leave behind the earthly you know um, uh, uh, grabs the earthly um, falsities if you will and so in this path of creation and reverse creation 
You want to put in your hands the tools that will assist you to accomplish this. Now, you've heard me talk about this weekend workshop where I start this Sunday the 3rd for the 12 weeks um, open your, excuse me, awaken your spiritual channels. This is just one example of a teacher uh, leading you towards enlightenment in a very dedicated and specific manner. Uh, I am not, I've reached a level of enlightenment, but it's, it's like on the lower rung. There's many, many layers. Um, so uh, I'm certainly not saying I can take you there, but I have enough uh, 10 years of practice where I can bring you to a place where you probably will not be able to go on your own. So that's the value of being with a, a certified master teacher who can assist you from get to here to there. And I can take it quite a bit further than that. It's just a first layer class, but it's an example. So we're going to do the four power technique. We're going to chant Ren Di Tian Dao He Yi, and we're going to call the frequencies in the Shen Qi and Jing of Mother Earth. How long has Mother Earth been here? We know at least four billion years. How does a body live that long? It must have very high frequency. How long has heaven been here? At least as long as Mother Earth, possibly longer. And it's higher Qi. How do we know this? Because the ancient uh, wisdom says from the nothingness was formed uh, the uh, clean Qi, which formed heaven, and the dirty Qi, which formed uh, matter. And so the clean Qi has a higher frequency than the dirty Qi. So you have human, then Mother Earth, then heaven, then source. Okay. So when we chant this, what are we doing? We're elevating our Shen Xin Jing to Mother Earth Shen Xi Jing, to heaven Shen Xi Jing, to Tao's Shen Xi Jing. That's what's happening when we chant this mantra. Okay. All right. So let us sit up straight. Let us place our feet flat on the floor or in lotus position, whatever is comfortable for you. Uh, I'll ask Kristen to please uh, type out um, the Ren Di Tian He Yi, which again means human, Mother Earth, Heaven, Tao becomes one. Tian Di Ren Dao He Yi. Sit up straight, back away from the back of the chair. Let's touch our tongues to the roof of the mouth. Close your eyes, become fully present. Bring your thoughts, your mind, and your breath into your Ming Men Point. For those that are new, the Ming Men Point is a sacred energy point in the dip in your back directly across from your belly button. Put your mind there. Breathe into that very small acupuncture point. The Ming Men Point. It is called Heaven's Gate. It is a very special energy point. So you want your thought, your mind, and your breath there. <clears throat> if it is comfortable, please repeat after me. Dear the Source, the Tao. Dear Heaven, dear Mother Earth. I love you, I honor you deeply appreciate you. Could you please bless me to raise my frequencies, to elevate my soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter? Please bless me to elevate my Shen, Qi, and Jing, to your Shen, Qi, and Jing. I'm very grateful. Thank you. Everything has a soul, so we will connect to the soul of the mantra Continue to repeat if it is comfortable. Dear the soul of the mantra, Ren Ti Tian Dao He Yi. Human, Mother Earth, Heaven, Dao becomes one. Mantra. I love you, honor you, appreciate you. Could you please bless me to elevate my Shen, Qi, and Jing to Mother Earth, to Heaven, and to Dao? I am very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So you may place one palm over your lower abdomen, one palm on your Ming Men point at that dip in your back. Breathe into your Ming Men point. Focus the light into your Ming Men point. And we will chant Ren Di Tian Dao He Yi <clears throat> while we are breathing into that point, gathering from Mother Earth into that point 
her frequency, gathering from heaven their frequencies into that point. I want you to see their light, their frequency coming into that point. Let us chant. Rendi tian dao he yi 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 Visualize Mother Earth's frequencies below your feet, Heaven's frequencies above your head, permeating your entire body, clearing blockages in your physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual bodies. Their frequencies are literally washing away your lower frequencies. See the higher frequencies. Feel the higher frequencies coming into your body and focusing on your Ming Men point. Rendi Tian Dao He Yi 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 And while you visualize the light coming from Mother Earth, coming from heaven into your Ming Men point. Let us ask forgiveness because we may have kept others from aligning and reaching their enlightenment because of our wrong teachings or ego. Let us ask forgiveness. If it is comfortable, please repeat after me. Dear all souls, dear my beloved creator, divine Tao Source, Dear Heaven, dear Mother Earth, dear all souls of humanity, if I or my ancestors have kept any soul in any time and place from reaching higher levels of enlightenment, from elevating their frequencies in any manner that could have assisted them, please, please forgive me. I am deeply regretful of any wrong thoughts, words, or actions that I may have brought into people's lives that have kept them from reaching higher blessings in their soul journey. I sincerely apologize. Let us continue to chant Rendi Tian Dao He Yi, which means human 
Mother Earth, Heaven, Tao becomes one. Let us begin. Ren di tian dao, shen qi jing he yi. We'll add a little bit to it. Ren di tian dao, shen qi jing he yi. Ren di tian dao, shen qi jing he yi. Ren di tian dao, shen qi jing he yi. Ren di tian dao, shen qi jing he yi. Ren di tian dao, shen qi jing he yi. Ren di tian dao, shen qi jing he yi. Ren di tian dao, shen qi jing he yi. Human, Mother Earth, Heaven, Tao, Soul, Heart, Mind, and Body become one. Ren di tian dao shen qi jing he yi. Ren di tian dao shen qi jing he yi. Ren di tian dao shen qi jing he yi. Ren di tian dao shen qi jing he yi. Ren di tian dao shen qi jing he yi. Ren di tian dao shen qi jing he yi. Ren di tian dao shen qi jing he yi. Ren di tian dao shen qi jing he yi. One more round. Ren di tian dao shen qi jing he yi. Ren di tian dao shen qi jing he yi. Ren di tian dao shen qi jing he yi. Ren di tian dao shen qi jing he yi. Ha, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. So welcome to all those that have just joined. I know that you came in as, with a chanting and I'm sure it didn't make a lot of sense. We are chanting a mantra. A mantra is a healing tool, a gathering tool. We employ the four powers. So for all those who are chanting, would like to clarify what you are chanting. <clears throat> Remember we used body power. Where we place our hands is where the frequencies are elevated. Mind power, where we placed our thought, is where the frequencies are elevated. The mantra itself gathers what we chant is what we become. The soul power, we connected to the soul of the mantra, we connected to the soul of Mother Earth and Heaven and the Tao Source. And we ask those souls to bless our frequencies to help elevate our Shen, Qi, and Jing. The Shen, Qi, Jing means what? Soul, heart and mind, that's Shen. Qi is energy, Jing is matter. So everything is made up of Shen, Qi and Jing. Everyone and everything is made up of soul, heart, mind, energy and matter. The Ren Di Tian Dao, human, Di is heaven, Tian is, uh, Di is earth, Tian is heaven, and Tao, of course, is source. So human, level up frequency, Mother Earth, level up frequency, heaven, level up frequency, source. Ren Di Tian Dao, Shen Qi Jing He Yi, is saying, elevate my human Shen Qi Jing to Mother Earth, then to heavens, then to source. It's when we employ the four powers at the same time where we could have tremendous, tremendous benefits and results. It's when we just, you know, if we don't connect, uh, we get a half connection result. So always employ the four powers. And I noticed instantly when we did the forgiveness practice, my crown lit up. The forgiveness practice makes a huge difference because 
the reason we have difficulty in opening our spiritual channels, the reason we have difficulty in opening our third eye, the reason we have difficulty aligning to our highest potential self and reaching enlightenment in any given lifetime is our spiritual negative uh, karmas, our spiritual debts. And when we did the forgiveness practice, as simple as it sounded, instantly my crown lit up and additional frequency came in to serve you with. It is the simplest of understandings, yet it needs to be repeated how many times before we continue to apply it. Now I know many of you have learned well and have practiced well, and accordingly you're seeing positive shift and movement in your life. So I congratulate all those that are practicing as much as uh, you can, and I encourage you to practice a little bit more because it's only gonna help you that much more. For those that uh, want to know more about it, my encouragement for everybody here is to come to my uh, Awaken Spiritual Channels program. Again, it starts next week, Sunday, September 3. It will happen every Sunday for 12 weeks. I'll be going over the seven major, uh, five major foundational energy centers, the seven chakras and the energy and matter channel, focusing every week on a very specific aspect and doing very specific practices, offering wisdom teachings and very specific guidance. It'll be uh, much more focused than this environment. There will be questions and answers. It'll be very interactive. You'll, you can have a microphone if you want to talk. We can go back and forth. It'll be on a private webcam structure. And the entire program is 360 for all 12 weeks. Uh, and so during that time, uh, you'll have great opportunity uh, to level up your awakening and your awareness. There will be opportunities throughout the 12-week course where you can receive special blessings uh, to clear your blockages, significant blockages that show up in the chakras or in the energy systems, in the channels. Uh, those are be individual, of course, but uh, uh, the, the, I, I did that for myself and I can tell you it made a massive difference in my awakening and in my energies and my ability to serve better and my ability to offer healing blessings and receive significant results. So those are available to anybody that joins that course. Uh, Kristen, who is, who is doing an awesome job for me, uh, has either already put in her chat box the link for that, or she will soon. And I encourage you, if, if, um, if you can't uh, honor the 360 all at once, you can break it apart into three increments. You pay a little bit more, but it's let you stretch it out over a couple months, okay? So I give people those options also, all right? So I thank you for telling other people about it if it's not something that you can do right now. Uh, other people you know might be interested in that kind of an awakening program. And thank you for sharing today's live stream as well. So I'm very grateful for all of you being present. I'm very grateful for you sharing. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will see you tomorrow, everybody. Bye-bye.